See if you can move it at all. Well, that's it. So we got a call for a Mazda CX-9 that's stuck up on the Lava Point Road on Kolob. Uh, we're gonna head up there and see if we can get it out. We got uh, Rudy behind us with his Jeep in case we get into a little bit of trouble. We got Randy with us today. Good morning, it's nice and chilly this morning. It's probably gonna be really cold up on Kolob because it's another, what, 6,000 feet elevation gain. We're probably right at about freezing right now, judging by how cold we were waiting at the hotel parking lot for the customer. Right. It was too early for Ed. We started at 6.50. <laughs> And this is going to be a snow recovery, so we're kind of excited about that. The tires are a little bit warm from up driving on the highway. It's angry. How are you guys doing? We came up yesterday. We're helping a guy finish up a little cabin up here, and today's a little icier. Yes, it is. Okay, we'll just take it nice and easy. Have a good one. Now we got a problem. <laughs> Just a quick reminder to let you know that my recovery rope is still available. It's the kit, actually. It's the rope, the soft shackle, and it comes in a duffel bag. You're also going to be getting a postcard signed by me verifying your purchase. We're also going to be sending you a decal. You can stick it anywhere you want because it's sticky on the back. Okay, get in and start it. Turn your wheel all the way to the left. Okay, hold it right there. Yep. Okay. Turn your wheel to the right. Yeah, see if you can move it at all. Well, that's it. It's a long hill. Snow's almost as bad as sand. Come around here. I heard that uh, Rudy just about took you out. Yeah, did you do that on purpose? No. He just started pulling hard and since it was hooked to the one side, it oh. slid the whole car over into you. <laughs> I'm like, I, Randy thinks I'm trying to kill him. So. <laughs> Well, yeah. after all your threats yesterday. That was yesterday. <laughs> you guys made it look easy. Oh, we pulled. One time we got called up here for a car. Yeah. And when we got here, there was three other cars and a tow truck all stuck in there. <laughs> and the guy in the tow truck, he's like, how are you going to get us out? And, I, and he didn't know about this Jeep or anything. 
I'm like, oh, I'll pull you out. Yeah. I'm like, I'll pull all these cars out, yeah. and then we'll come get you. And and so he was able to drive down around the cars and wait for me down at that cattle guard at the bottom. Yeah. He'd already been there for like four hours. <laughs> he wasn't having a good day. <laughs> and uh, and I and I kept telling him, I'm like, we're just gonna pull you out. 45 minutes later, everybody's pulled out. We're all out here on the road. He's having a better day. Well, all the other tow companies you call know who we are now. They'll be like, Winder, they'll get you. Yeah, because there's no signal here. So we didn't yeah. know anyone to call except for 911. Oh, so the sheriff's yeah, came. Yeah, all the way here, then we got the signal. So yeah, so my engine that I'm building in my off-road vehicle takes a computer to run it, but I get to pick what it does. No computer for the transmission, no computer for the transfer case, no computer for the axles. But if I bought something brand new, like the new Ford Bronco that's coming out, yeah. looks like it would be a good off-road recovery rig, uh -huh. I would have to take all the computers out of it uh -huh. and retrofit it with some old axles to make it work. It's more valuable to run an inferior part that you're very familiar with than a superior one you don't know anything about. Does that make sense? So Well, I, there is hope for my rovers then. I want to see an actual running rover. Like, I haven't seen one yet. Thank you, that's amazing. Uh, thank you so much, you're really rescued. You guys enjoy your trip. Yeah, thank you, it's fun. Have a good one, yeah. So we got there and got them pulled out. Pretty easy, but that car wasn't gonna come out of there by itself with those tires on it. And it's just a beautiful day. It's just clear and a little bit crisp, but. They were a super fun customer. They were from Massachusetts and New York. And we had a good conversation on the way up and a lot of fun with them. I'll show you some of the scenery Matt's been talking about. So we got a call for a Nissan Altima that's stuck in the sand on the Babylon Mill Road. And we're gonna head down there and see if we can get it out. Hi everybody, yeah, it's a clear sky, no wind, about 78 degrees, no smoke, we'll get them out. It's going to be a fun time. How you doing? We're doing all right. Good. Now that you're here. You guys locals here? Sister, got from sister Washington. down here that's a local. Gotcha. She said, oh look at the road's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a trap that it gets everybody. Some cars will make it through it this way, but then they can't yeah, make it. Yeah, that's why we didn't ever make it back either. This cars get less and less attachment points the newer they get. Yeah, we had several people they come along with four-wheel drives that says, well, we'd be glad to help you, but there's nothing to hook on to for us. Correct. I just didn't want to pull off the bumper or something, you know? Uh, this is just a piece of plastic held on with clips. I could literally grab it and tear yeah. it off yeah. with my hands. So you're either going to want to get in one or the other or ride with some because we've got to go like half a mile. Yeah. See that, Randy? <laughs> Let off the brake. <laughs> it's gonna be walking in this the whole way. Oh, I know. How are you? I'm great. How about you? <laughs> about to be tired. <laughs> We're gonna do what we know works. Did you get your exercise in this I'm working on it. It is a long way on this uh, Bethlehem Mill pole. I do. Is the dog all right? I'll even let the dog sit on my lap. <laughs> yeah, I'm with the Winter Towing. So we do a, a YouTube channel. Yeah, have a good one. Thank you so much. Okay. That's good. We should be done. We did it. You made a call. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, you guys have a good day. Thank, Thank you very you much. Matt. Well, you did good, Lizzie. Yeah, I think Matt does most of it. I was in neutral. I don't recommend driving oh, down there. Okay. All right. Thanks.
Well, Ed, that's another one done. Yeah, another one down. <laughs> Thanks for watching.